Red Sparrow is a riveting espionage film starring Jennifer Lawrence as Dominika Igorova, a former ballerina turned Russian spy. In this high-stakes world of secrets and deceit, Dominika's loyalty and skills are put to the test. Now grab your popcorn and let's dive into this thrilling tale of espionage and intrigue. The narrative unfolds by alternating between the lives of two main characters in Russia. First, we have Dominika Igorova, a renowned ballerina responsible for caring for her ailing mother. After a visit to the doctor, Dominika arranges for a caregiver to look after her mother, allowing her to head to the theater for work. At the theater, she undergoes her routine transformation with makeup and attire before meeting the guests, among whom is her uncle, Ivan Igorov, the deputy director of the Russian Secret Service. Ivan introduces her to Dmitry Ustinov, a Russian gangster who inappropriately attempts to touch her while requesting a photograph. Shortly afterward, the performance commences, and Dominika dazzles the audience with her dance. However, her performance takes a tragic turn when her dancing partner unexpectedly jumps and lands on her leg, fracturing it. Dominika is swiftly rushed for surgery. Meanwhile, the story introduces the second protagonist, Nate Nash, a CIA agent who deciphers a message from an automated caller, leading him to a secret meeting location. He arms himself with a gun and heads to the designated park for the covert rendezvous. As he arrives, he notices he's being tailed by a car. Simultaneously, a mysterious man known as Marble approaches him. They exchange an item while passing each other on the road, the pursuing car forces Nate to create a diversion by firing his gun into the ground, allowing him to flee to town. He barely reaches the safety of the American embassy as he is surrounded by the local police. Inside the embassy, his superiors inform him that their asset is secure, but Nate will be sent back to the USA due to his actions. The following day, Ivan visits Colonel Zakharov, the director of the Secret Service in the company of General Vladimir Korchnoi. They show Ivan a video of Nate's park meeting, revealing him as a CIA agent who left the country that morning. However, their primary interest lies in identifying the other man involved in the exchange. The narrative then shifts to Dominica, who awakens in the hospital to discover her leg encased in a metal frame. The devastating realization that she may never dance again brings her to tears. Three months pass, and Dominica, still reliant on a cane, receives a visit from Ivan. He informs her that the theater has already found her replacement and that the financial support for her mother's medical expenses and apartment will cease now that she is no longer employed there. Ivan offers his help and leaves an envelope for her. Opening the envelope, Dominica discovers incriminating pictures indicating her former dancing partner's romantic involvement with her replacement. The enclosed recording suggests he deliberately caused her injury. Enraged, Dominica confronts her former partner and her successor in the theater's steam room, physically attacking them with her cane before fleeing. On her way home, she witnesses her hands stained with blood and decides to exit the bus, reporting her actions at a payphone, framing them as an accident. Upon arriving home, Dominica finds her mother on the bathroom floor with the caregiver absent, claiming the theater stopped paying her. Left with no alternative, Dominica seeks her uncle Ivan's assistance. He agrees to help, provided that she assists him in a case, gaining the trust of Dmitry Ustinov, the man she met at the theater, and gathering information about him using her seductive skills. Initially hesitant, Dominica succumbs to Ivan's persuasion, considering the dire conditions of state hospitals and the promise of better medical care for her mother. That very night, Dominika arrives at the hotel where Ustinov is staying, wearing a dress provided by Ivan. She waits in the bar for Ustinov to initiate contact, which he eventually does. Dominika tells him she seeks to feel special once more, and they leave for her room. She requests privacy from the guards, and Ustinov quickly undresses. After some hesitation, Dominika complies and approaches him, but their encounter is abruptly interrupted when a helmeted man appears behind Ustinov and slits his throat. The lifeless body is cast to the floor, and the enigmatic intruder signals for silence. He throws Dominica a coat to conceal her blood-stained body and guides her out of the room through a concealed exit. In the storyline, we find that after their escape from the initial scene, a man shoots an innocent employee in a parking lot before taking Dominica on his motorcycle and driving to an abandoned building. 
Inside, he removes his helmet, revealing himself as Sergei Maturin, another Secret Service agent sent by Ivan. Meanwhile, in another room within the same building, Korchnoi and Ivan watch Dominica on security cameras. There's a discussion about Dominica being a witness, and Korchnoi suggests eliminating her while Ivan sees potential usefulness in her. Ivan switches rooms to talk to Dominica and admits that he knew what would happen in the previous room, but kept her in the dark. He makes her an offer. She can undergo training at a special institution to become an agent, and refusal would leave her without his protection, so she accepts. A couple of days later, Dominica departs for the institution, where she's received by Matron, the headmistress of Sparrow School. Matron assigns Dominica a new identity to use at the school, and then takes her to her room. Classes start shortly after that, with Matron discussing the world's turmoil and Russia's willingness to make sacrifices to address it. The students are being prepared to become sparrows, specializing in seduction and psychological manipulation. In one class, Dominica and a fellow student, Victor, are asked to strip, with Victor complying easily while Dominica hesitates. Matron scolds her for her reluctance. The narrative then shifts to Nate, who is summoned by the CIA's disciplinary panel and informed of his suspension due to his actions in Russia, along with the restriction that he can't leave the country. Nate protests, emphasizing his three-year partnership with their mole, Marble, but his pleas are disregarded. Back at Sparrow School during a class with Matron, students are instructed to identify their target's desires. Videos are shown as examples, and when Victor guesses incorrectly, Dominica corrects him, leading to his resentment. In a subsequent video, a female student is asked to perform a sexual act on a man brought into the classroom in restraints. The student breaks down, unable to proceed, emphasizing the need to learn to control their bodies. Matron then teaches some basic seduction techniques. In the USA, Nate notices he's being followed and informs his superiors. They agree to let him contact Marble to prompt Marble's reappearance, as there has been no recent contact. Nate won't return to Russia, but will be relocated to a nearby country with a team. At Sparrow School, Dominica interacts with returning soldiers. She chooses a young man and satisfies him. Later, she faces an attack from Victor in the showers, but defends herself using a water tap as a weapon. In Russia, Ivan Korchnoi and Zakharov discuss Nate's relocation to Budapest, desiring to take action without appearing antagonistic to the USA. Ivan suggests assigning the mission to someone else. Back at Sparrow School, Matron and Korchnoi question Dominica about her altercation with Victor. Matron sees potential in Dominica while Korchnoi requests a private conversation. Afterward, she returns to class, impressing Korchnoi by accurately determining a student's desire. Later, Dominica is called to meet Ivan at a restaurant. He explains her next mission, to befriend Nate in Budapest, gain his trust, and uncover the mole's identity. She receives a new identity and departs for Budapest, sharing an apartment with Sparrow Marta. Following a meeting with her new superior, Station Chief Maxim Volontov, Dominica requests information about Nate. She then begins shadowing Nate to learn about his daily life. The next day, Dominica joins the same swimming pool as Nate, allowing him to approach her as they leave. They engage in conversation, but Nate has already seen through her disguise and is aware of her true identity. He reports her actions to his superiors and gains approval to gather intelligence by getting closer to her. After updating Volontov and visiting the embassy, Dominica uncovers Marta's involvement in buying intelligence from Stephanie Boucher, an American politician. She also receives a copy of a report indicating she has made an adversary. Dominica follows Volontov to a bar and manipulates him into assaulting her, capturing the incident on security cameras. She threatens to take the recording to the police unless he submits a better report. Meanwhile, Nate waits for their date at a restaurant but leaves, thinking he's been stood up. Nate receives another coded message revealing the word Vienna. Dominica arrives at his door, sharing a drink and disclosing her encounter with violence. They discuss their desires and Nate advises her to reflect on them. The next day, Ivan visits Dominica to check on her progress with Nate, who's growing impatient. To buy more time, Dominica concocts a story about collaborating with Marta on the Boucher case and requests additional funding, which Ivan grants. After Ivan departs, Marta confronts Dominica with a gun, having overheard the lie. Dominica promises Marta credit and more money, explaining her lie was a time-buying tactic. 
Marta reluctantly agrees due to lack of alternatives. Later, Dominica goes to Vienna to open a bank account while Marta discusses her plan to eliminate Dominica with Volontov. That night, Dominica returns home to find Marta's lifeless body in the bathtub. Suddenly, Sergei appears, warning her about the consequences of sharing secrets and instructing her to call the police before vanishing. The focus shifts to Nate, who reports to his superiors about meeting Marble in Vienna. Marble provides evidence confirming Dominica's status as a sparrow, making her a more attractive asset to Nate. Meanwhile, Dominica is questioned by the police but remains tight-lipped. Upon leaving the police station, she encounters Nate waiting for her. They return to Nate's apartment where he reveals his knowledge of Dominica being a sparrow. She shares her personal story, emphasizing her concern for her mother's well-being. Nate suggests she become a double agent with the promise of protection, and Dominica accepts. They become intimate that night. The following morning, Dominica agrees to Nate's offer and resumes her routine, crafting a fake report on Nate to maintain her cover. She returns to her apartment to await his signal, a phone call playing her favorite song. She later meets with Nate's superiors, passing a lie detector test to prove her trustworthiness. They agree to provide funds as she requested. The following Friday, the team heads to London to meet Stephanie Boucher. Dominica stays in a CIA-prepared hotel room complete with surveillance cameras and concealed discs for exchange. While waiting for Boucher at the hotel bar, Dominica is surprised by Volontov's unexpected arrival. To avoid alarming Boucher, she guides Volontov to her room. Upon Boucher's arrival, Dominica introduces herself as Marta's emissary. Initially displeased with the change, Boucher contemplates leaving. Dominica persuades her to stay by alluding to sensitive photographs and mentioning the money. They go to Dominica's room where Volontov awaits. Bauche exchanges the discs for money, believing Dominica is verifying their authenticity on her computer. In reality, Dominica swaps the discs with the CIAs. Afterward, she and Volontov leave, instructing Boucher to wait an hour before departing. An anxious and intoxicated Boucher leaves early and is fatally struck by a truck. Dominica and Volontov receive the news in their car, with Volontov promptly revealing their orders to return to Moscow and confiscating Dominica's passport. Back in Moscow, Ivan takes the discs from Volontov and has him arrested. Dominica and Volontov come under suspicion for assisting the Americans. Despite enduring various forms of torture and even witnessing Volontov's execution for lying, Dominica refuses to divulge information. Ivan takes over the interrogation, but Dominica skillfully manipulates him into ensuring her protection. She's allowed to return home but cannot embrace her mother due to feeling contaminated. Following a challenging meeting with Korchnoi and Zakharov, Ivan returns home to find Dominica waiting. He informs her that her request to continue working on Nate has been granted. After a kiss, she leaves for Budapest. There, she meets Nate and heads to his apartment. They become intimate. In the middle of the night, Dominica hears a commotion and discovers Sergei torturing Nate. Initially feigning allegiance with Sergei, she assists in hurting Nate to extract the mole's identity. However, when Sergei is momentarily distracted and slips, Dominica takes the opportunity to stab him. The next day, Dominica wakes up in the hospital and leaves her room to smoke. She is approached by Korchnoi, who reveals himself as Marble. Fearing capture, he urges Dominica to expose him, enabling her to become a national hero and take his place as a mole. Dominica refrains from providing a definite response, but after his departure, checks on Nate and eventually surrenders herself to the police. Upon meeting with the Russian ambassador, she requests to contact Zakharov and discloses that she possesses the mole's identity, which she will provide in exchange for her freedom. A meeting is arranged for later that night at an airport for the exchange. Nate will walk alongside her to verify the mole's identity, and she must not attempt to flee, as any such attempt will result in her being shot. Nate, though angered by her actions, agrees to her terms. During the exchange, Nate is taken aback by the revelation that the mole is not Korchnoi, but her uncle Ivan, who has been framed by Dominica since her initial arrival in Budapest. Nate quickly realizes the truth and confirms that Ivan is the mole. After the exchange, Ivan is shot by a Russian sniper, and Dominica is extracted via helicopter. 
Back in Russia, she is hailed as a heroine and granted a good life with her mother. The movie concludes as Dominica receives a phone call, with the only sound on the line being her favorite song. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting content. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay awesome and we'll catch you in the next video.